Welcome to How to Yu-Gi-Oh! Greater Duel Gore vs. Get Varus. And I did want to say for anyone who's joined uh, my channel, glad to have you here and uh, hopefully you will enjoy this video. Now I want to say in this Greater Duel video, we're going to grade it for Yu-Gi-Oh! Realism. We're going to show uh, the duel um, and see if we can uh, spot some mistakes. Okay, so let's go on to the uh, next slide. You just give me a moment there. And so we have the grading system which shows a 10 out of 10, if you can see it right in front of you. So that will be the perfect system. And if there are any uh, mistakes, obviously it didn't mean perfect system, but if there are any mistakes, we'll, I'll decrease you know, the grade going down, etc, etc, etc. Um, with that being said, let's get on with the duel. Time to do Time to kick ass. I'll start off by summoning this bruiser, Goki Suprex. And when Suprex steps into the ring, he also brings his tag team partner, Goki Twist Cobra. Nice. The summoning conditions require two Gokis, so I set Goki. Cobra and Goki Suprex in the Link Arrows! And now I Link Summon! Link to Goki Jet Ogre! When Suprex and Twist Cobra leave the ring for the graveyard, their special ability activates, letting me draw two new Goki cards from my deck and add them to my hand. That's really convenient. And next I activate the spell card Goki Rematch. It lets me summon a pair of Gokis with different levels in defense. Two monsters for one spell? I will take that trade! That'll require two or more Goki monsters. So I'm gonna set Goki Suprex and Goki Jet Ogre in the Link Arrows! I Link Summon Link 3 Goki Thunder Ogre! I activate Thunder Ogre's special ability to summon another Goki from my hand and join him in this match. Now get in the tussle, Goki Suprex! That sounds oddly familiar. When I summon Goki Suprex, I can also summon Goki Rai Scorpio! Your move, Ferris. It is my turn. Ha! Since you have a Link Monster on your field, I can summon my Gateway Dragon. And by activating its special ability, I can then summon another dragon straight from my hand as long as its level is four or lower. That's really convenient. Sniffer Dragon. Sniffer Dragon's ability sniffs out another copy from my deck, which I also summon. Behold, what you can do, I can do better. The summoning conditions require at least two of my monsters. So I set Gateway Dragon and my two Sniffer Dragons in the Link Arrows. Three triple burst dragon. That's when this dragon has the same number of links as your thunder ogre. I'm about to activate my spell, Arrow Charge. It lets me draw two cards, which you're also allowed to see. But knowing what I possess will not help you in the least, Gorge. Not when I use your Thunder Ogre's special ability against you to summon a monster next to its link. Rise up, triggering work! Hold on, that's pretty smart. And thanks to your help, I can manifest my circuit once again. This time I require at least two effect monsters. So I set triggering work and triple burst dragon in the link arrow. Next up, 
triggering worm special ability activates. Since I used it to link some atomologic bomber dragon, it can resurrect itself from my graveyard next to bomber dragon's link. And this, in turn, triggers my topologic special ability. Once I destroy my own triggering worm, I am allowed to draw one card from my deck and then add it to my hand. It will now activate my spell card, Link Protection. Topologic Bomber Dragon can no longer be destroyed. It's my turn! I draw! Get ready, Ferris. I activate the spell Goki Rematch! This resurrects two Gokis from my graveyard in defense mode. Two monsters for one spell? I will take that trade! It's my circuit! I need to use two Gokis, and two Gokis are exactly what I have in front of me on my field. Link the circuit! I Link Summit! Link two! Goki Heal Ogre! Right ain't over, cause Heal Ogre can resummon a Goki Link monster from my graveyard. So Goki Thunder Ogre is coming back from retirement. And since I sent Goki Suprex and Twist Cobra to the showers earlier, their special abilities let me draw two more Goki cards from my deck. By banishing Link Protection, along with Topologic Bomber Dragon, you can't attack me unless you have at least the same number of Link Monsters as Topologic has Links. That dragon's Link 4, so Gordian's 4 Link Monsters to attack. Link, 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 Link. I already have two, and getting two more ain't a problem. First up, I summon Goki Suprex from my head. Then its special ability lets me summon Goki Rascorpio. And that's only the start, because I got plenty more monsters in my hand. By sending one Goki in my hand to the graveyard, I can summon Goki Headbat in defense mode. And Headbat's special ability gives Thunder Ogre 800 attack points until the end of the turn. All right, it's time for me to mash my circuit. The summoning conditions are two or more Gokis. So I set Goki Suprex, Rash Scorpio, and Headbat in the Link Arrows. I Link Summon, Link 3, Goki the Great Ogre. Down, one to go. Since Goki by Scorpio and Headband went to the graveyard, ugh, their special abilities let me draw two more Goki cards from my deck. Next, I activate the spell Goki Roar. Whenever my Goki attacks, it's bulked up by 300 attack points for every Goki on my field. Last but not least, I activate this Goki Face Turn spell. By giving Goki Roar the heave-ho, I can summon a monster from my graveyard. Fly on back, Goki Jet Ogre! Goki the Great Ogre, attack Varus directly! Remember the time I said a single card could change the duel? This is the card I was talking about! Motivate Mirror Force! Every monster on your field in attack mode is destroyed every single one okay and so far as we see with this duel there's not really much mistakes we can uh, spot obviously the skills that they uh, that are being used in this um are part of you know the brain system so i'm not going to consider them breaking the rules as these are following the rules within the universe that they are in. Nothing's really has been so far used inappropriately. Um, maybe we've seen some inadequacies of people, of one of the characters forgetting some of the effects, but this can be pretty normal sometimes when it comes to dueling in real life. Sometimes in real life you can forget your effects, um, especially in the high, you know, environment setting. So it does happen when, you know, death or whatever, such sort of things are involved. So it's pretty natural, it's pretty normal. 
Um, not obviously to this degree, but you know, I think you get the general idea. Okay, let's uh, carry on with the duel. It's my turn. I draw. I activate my spell card quick launch. It summons a dragon from my deck. Magna rocket launch. Your Magna rocket ain't blasting off nowhere. Now when my great ogre lowers its attack points for every defense point that it has. Is that supposed to be a problem? I activate squid draw. You may have gone to all that trouble to weaken my Magna Rocket, but I'll just destroy it. So I can draw two additional cards. Next, I activate my field spell, Boot Sector Launch. It allows me to summon two rocket monsters directly from my hand in defense mode. Now take to the field, Shell Rocket Dragon and Metal Rocket Dragon. My Boot Sector Launch has another effect. It gives 300 attack and defense points to each and every rocket monster on the field. Now I'll use these two monsters to manifest my circuit. The summoning conditions require two rocket monsters. So I send Shell Rocket and Metal Rocket in the Link Arrows. I Link Summon Link 2 Booster Dragon. Summon another shell rocket. But that's not all that I'm doing. Boot Sector Launch increases its attack strength by 300, raising it to 1400 points. I don't think so. My ogre weakens it to nothing. Must I remind you that I don't care about anything you do? I use Booster Dragon's special ability on Shell Rocket, and by doing so, Shell Rocket is destroyed. But it also takes down the monster vertically above it. And if you so happen to have any monsters next to it, they're also destroyed. Oh no! That it? Since Magna Rocket and Shell Rocket were destroyed by special abilities, their own special abilities activate. I can summon two other rocket monsters from my deck in defense mode at the end of my turn. Come on out! Shell Rocket Dragon and Metal Rocket Dragon! Then my field spell Boot Sector Launch raises their defenses, making it more difficult to get past them. I activate the spell Goki Rematch! Once per turn! I can summon two Gokis from my graveyard in defense mode just as long as each of them has a different level. I... Two monsters for one spell? I will take that trade! And then I activate Moonsault special ability. Not only do I get to return a Goki Link monster in my graveyard to my extra deck, but I also get to snag a different Goki monster and add it to my hand. And that sets me up. To mash up my circuit once again to Link Summon! Watch this! I set Goki Moon Salt and Goki Twist Cobra and the Link Arrows! I Link Summon! Link 2 Goki Jet Ogre! And then like last time, Twist Cobra's ability activates when it goes to the graveyard. I get to draw another Goki card from my deck and I'll follow that up by summoning Goki Suprex in attack mode! Guess what happens now? Suprex's ability activates. And Suprex's ability lets me keep adding to my squad by summoning Goki Tank Parker. And here's where they fight as a team. Jet Ogre destroys itself to switch every single scrub you've got on your field into attack mode, Paris. It also gives my two remaining Gokis with 500 extra attack points until the end of the turn. But Jet Ogre won't be gone for long as I activate Goki Grit. It equips on the jet over and revives it so it can fight again. To step up my game! With a game changer! I'm gonna be needing at least three Gokis to Link Summon. So I sent Goki Tank Partner, Suprex, and Jet Ogre in the Link Arrows to bring out the most powerful wrestler in my deck! You ain't ready for this, Varus! I Link Summon, Link 4! Goki the Giant Ogre! Goki the 
giant ogre slash up his booster dragon. Attack! When Booster Dragon is destroyed, I can summon another dragon from my graveyard to replace it. Triple Burst Dragon! Draw! I tribute Triple Burst Dragon to resurrect Booster Dragon from my graveyard. Triple Burst also allows me to summon a level 4 or lower dragon from my hand. So emerging from its eternal rest is Hibernation Dragon. Hibernation Dragon wakes from its slumber. It returns a dragon in my graveyard to my hand, but it won't be on the sidelines for long. Because I summon it! Come out, Magna Rocket Dragon! Since I have my field spell boot sector launch, Magna Rocket gains 300 attack points. Booster Dragon's special ability would chip in with 500 extra attack points of its own. But when Magna Rocket is targeted by a Link Monster's special ability, it self-destructs. However, it doesn't perish alone, and it takes a monster with it. Like your Great Ogre, which happens to be your one remaining monster. Now, fire! You mean misfire! Since your monster has fewer attack points than Giant Ogre, my big bad brute deflects all your abilities. I hope you have. You'll learn how misguided you are. In order to link summon, I require at least three effect monsters. So I set these three dragons in the link arrows. You said you wanted to fight your fight. You were never in this fight to begin with. I Link Summon Link Four Moral Sword Dragon. Moral Sword Dragon, destroy. That's where you're disastrously wrong. Moral Sword Dragon's special ability steals half your ogre's attack points. Therefore, your giant ogre's attack points drop to fifteen hundred. Moral Sword activates its second ability. That would usually switch my Metal Rocket to defense mode. But when Metal Rocket is the target of an ability, it self-destructs. However, it won't go to the graveyard alone. It also destroys all your cards that are in the same column as it. In other words, your giant ogre! Go Blast Destruction! When your Boral Sword stole my Ogre's attack points, that's another way of saying my Ogre's attack points change. <sighs> and that triggers its ability, raising its power by a thousand. And since it's not affected by monsters weaker than it, Metal Rocket wasn't firing anything packing a punch. In other words, you failed. Are you sure? Or perhaps it is you who has failed to comprehend my strategy. When Boral Sword utilizes its special ability, it is allowed to attack for a second time. What? You heard me. Did you really think I would make such a silly mistake? He lost the duel. We come to the end of this video. So, as I like to say, you are one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh! Master. My fate, right, is in your hands.